So as of late, we've been on a bit of a survival grind on the channel for no other reason apart from the fact that I really, really am enjoying it. And this is another one that hopefully we can look forward to. It's called Winter Survival Simulator. Now with simulator games, I kind of hold my breath a little bit because you either get a flip of the coin, whether it be good or bad. This one, I think, has a lot or enough in it to look forward to. So let's read what it says. This is a first look at Winter Survival Simulator, a survival simulator experience. You will find yourself in a cold, harsh environment after a close and bloody encounter with a bear with one single goal in mind, to survive. With nobody but yourself to count on, you have to fight your own sanity to get through it. Join us on a journey of discovery and learning how to handle various situations, and we hope you will like it. God damn, couldn't even imagine that. Uh, what what the hell just happened? Alright. So he's gonna throw us straight into it like that. <laughs> Shit. It's so cold. Being chased off a bear. I can't feel my fingers. Okay, body heat. After spending the night outside, your body temperature has dropped drastically. Your hands are frozen, which means you are unable to interact with anything. Stand next to any heat source to get warm and regain full control over your body. Your body temperature can be tracked in the top right corner of the screen. Okay. I like that, how you have to use a heat source to, to keep the blood flowing, keep the heat. This game is really, really good looking. Like, I've said it a million times. I don't really care too much for graphics. It's more of a bonus if it looks pretty and stuff. But when you're thrown into this kind of situation, and a terrifying situation at that too. I heard the distinct sound of a wolf in the background just as I heard something through the snow. So what we got to do? The long night. Find a heat source. We got to figure something out. Oh yeah, we do. So we fell off the back of this. We were being... Ch I don't know why we were running, I guess... We'll get to that at a later date, but we're, we're here, wherever here is, and we were chased off the edge of that, and that we fell from there to there. God damn. These hands look pretty cooked, too. I don't know if you guys caught that. They look like they were all tore up and stuff. Oh, Marcus. It might be a bit of a joke at this point on the channel because of the amount of times I've mentioned it. It's purely because I love it. But I'm getting the gray vibes. Anybody seen it? You know what I'm talking about. Carcass that's been eaten. Anytime I see those antlers now, I just get like Wendigo vibes. <laughs> Played too many games like that. Oh, we got birds flying over there. Circling something that's dead. Dead animals. Danger. Wolves. What the? Oh, what is that? God, I have to be careful. Okay, sanity. Your sanity is lowered by your poor condition and fear of dangers lurking in the forest. The lower your sanity, the closer you are to madness and further away from survival. Hallucinations are one of the first symptoms of losing sanity. Harmless at first, dangerous later. Tip, be careful when exploring. For example, wolves will intimidate you and lower your sanity. Wild animals may injure or kill you if you approach too closely, that goes without saying. So there are wolves in this then. That we gotta watch out for. That's what the birds were circling. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh yeah, okay. I was saying this reminds me of the gray. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a couple of wolves. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that poor guy. So the parachutes come in. It's caught on the tree. And the- oh my god, the wolves have eaten him. Oh, oh, oh my god, that's- that's horrible. That is gonna be one of the worst ways to go. That's so sick that- oh look, they're watching me as well. It's not like it's just one of those things where they're watching the, uh, person in the tree. Alright, let's keep it going. It's telling me to find a heat source and sneak around the wolves. I'm not sneaking, they definitely know I'm here. 
The music's getting me amped up as well. <laughs> oh! Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, did you guys catch that? There was like a snarl. Like something was coming in from the, the back, back side. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be like that. Whoa. Oh shit, I'm seeing stuff now. I'm actually seeing stuff. I, I just wanna go home. I just wanna go. Oh, look at that. It's peeking up. It's keeping tabs on us. Wait, so if we stare at this, then is that gonna lower our sanity? Oh, I can see it in the top right corner. We're cold. There's the temperature. What is this? Something secreting from the tree. Can we not use that to as like a binding agent or some type of fuel or something? Leave footsteps. Oh, look at that. I was just gonna ask if we leave footsteps, but it just it just carves out the snow. I feel like I'm about to be ambushed. Oh, it's a hot spring. Finally. Warm yourself up by the hot springs. Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna keep an eye on our temperature. So ambient temperature, body temperature, upper right corner on the screen changes according to the ambient temperature. Depending on the weather and your equipment, ambient temperature will feel different. Natural heat sources like this geyser can warm up and save your life. Find and remember the locations. Okay, yeah, we get it. So warm is good. Take a couple of minutes. Oh, okay. I thought someone was holding a gun to us then. That feels much better. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Run! Oh, they're actually coming as well. Run for your life. Oh, this has got, this has definitely got like a, a this, it doesn't feel like a simulator game. It definitely does not feel like a simulator game. It's, it's, oh, I can't explain it. Ah! Oh. Not this again. Health bar represents your physical condition. Avoid dangers such as wildlife, heights, and take care of other basic needs so that your health doesn't dip to zero. You can find the health bar in the lower left corner of the screen. Look at it, just staring at us. My leg. What's happened? What have we done? Okay, buffs and debuffs. Some activities leave negative effects called debuffs. Debuffs make your survival harder, such as frozen hands, or in this case, a sprained ankle. Over time, you'll learn about other debuffs, what effect they have, and most importantly, how to get rid of them. Tip, a sprained ankle limits your movement. One way to remove a debuff like this is to find a med kit. Okay, do we... The cabin here. I oh, okay, I see what he's doing. This log just completely collapsed on us. Yeah, this doesn't... Listen to that. Totally feral. It doesn't feel like a simulator game. It feels like... It's hard to explain, but if you've played any simulator games before, it feels like they they almost tell you what to do, and then it's the choice of it being repetitive. Oh my god, what is that? Has that been eaten? What the fuck is wrong with me? Plus three sanity. Oh, we're going. Okay, we're losing it. That gave me chills then. Oh my god. It looked like an animal that just wandered out after being attacked by those wolves. There it is. Still over there too. Look at that. Oh, that's such a cool shot. Nice little cabin. I love a good cabin. <laughs> I really do. I wish I lived in a place where you could make your own cabin or get a cabin and just spend a couple of weeks there. It'd be so badass. The wolves just watching us from a distance. Shelter door. Okay. Still chattering their teeth over there. Little workbench, maybe where we can fashion some some tools or something. I heard walking outside. What are you? Med kit? Inventory and quick slots. Everything you pick up goes straight into your inventory. The size of your inventory depends on the equipment. You can drag and drop items into the quick slots. Okay. Press tab to open your inventory, interact items with right mouse. Okay, inventory three out of four slots, we gotta unlock that. Hat, torn hat. Everything is busted. 
do look cool though. Look at that, like the whole mask and stuff. He's got like an old school vibe to it as well. Clothes, consumables, crafting. So med kit and the quick slot. There we go. Slot number one. Health 60%, hunger, a little bit peckish. Sanity 91. Energy well rested. We're thirsty in the body temperature. 29%. All right, let's close that off. Use the med kit. Much better. Still, this cold is killing me. I need to do something about it. Need to get fire going. Starting a fire. Fireplaces and shelters are ready to use. You only need to add the fuel to light them. To do this, open the fireplace UI and click any of the fuel items in your inventory. For example, wood chunks. Once you're happy with the amount of fuel, light the campfire by pressing light up. So, wood and log chunk. And fireplace, right mouse button. We've added the fuel and then light up. Oh, a little bit of flint and steel too. There you go. Is this thing still on? I should save the battery for later. Okay. That's enough for one day. Okay, we have a torch as well. I didn't realize that. I just kind of look past it. Look at the lighting in here with the fire on. Totally different with the... Uh, I think it's a head torch or something. And then when this thing's on... All about creating that ambience. Can't open the chest. Okay, it says get some sleep. I'm just going to have a little bit of a look around though. A little stove. Just keep us warm. A little chest too. I wonder if we can craft with this or if it's just there for show. I'd really love to be able to do that. Don't be stupid. You're too exhausted. Okay. To so we need to sleep. This fucking trip. I hope the others are doing fine. The others? Sleeping restores your energy, but the rest of the stats will diminish over time. Carefully plan your sleep and make sure you have the resources to replenish your body after you wake up. The sleep length is preset during the tutorial. After you'll be able to freely choose the length of sleep. Okay, so let's get ourselves up. A long oh, night. Terrible night. Right. I have to go back there and get my stuff. Go back where? Retrieve your gear. Wait, so we're gonna we're gonna go back to where we fell off? Oh, we might be going round. Like, okay, so we might be trying to find a way around to get the gear. This area is beautiful. Look at this. Like a little well as well. Water supply. Can we not get water and stuff? Like a second ago. Let me see this again. Yeah, our thirst is pretty low. I'm sure we'll get to that. Temperature's low as well. We're nice and warm for the time being. Let's keep our eyes open for any wolves. So, so far, this is what we've got with the game. Like we've been thrown straight into it. We've got some kind of little backstory where we've been chased by a bear. We know there's others. And... Essentially, we're now on our own. We have to get our gear back and survive until we can work out where the rest of the people are. Oh, this is all ice. Oh. It looked like... Oh, no, there is. Okay, I was going to say it looked like... I felt like there was momentum. And there absolutely is. <laughs> I think that was just a collapse. I don't think there was... Anything that caused... Oh, this is where we were. Okay, that's the... That's that branch that I saw. What's that? Oh, is that a person up there? Okay, pick up canteen. Find your way... Oh, it's the backpack. I thought it was somebody holding on to... Or, or landing on the tree. Canteen. There you are. Thirst. The quickest way to quench your thirst is eating snow. Take note that it replenishes your fluids, and there we go, and slightly lowers your body temperature. You can find natural sources of water as well. Be careful with hot springs as their waters are harmful to drink. Eat snow. <laughs> I was going to say when I saw that, like, it's not really a good idea. It lowers your core body temperature. There is plenty of snow around here. Okay. So, press G. Oh, look at that. Oh, so yeah, there's a trade-off. If you saw that in the top... I'll do that again, just in case you guys missed it. If you look in the top right corner, you can see where it says hydrated and icy. So we've got body temperature and thirst. We do it again. See how the thirst goes up? All right, lowers the thirst. Our body temperature is dropping. So we only really want to do that if we need it. Find a way to your backpack. Okay. Goddamn. I'm probably going to say this so many times, but <laughs> this game is beautiful. Lighting. 
the sun just peeking up first thing in the morning like this. I wonder if that melted because of the sun as well. I just weathered away over time. How do we get round there? Shimmy our way across. I do want to do a little bit of exploring as well. Because this is a demo, I don't know how far we're going to be able to, to kind of dive into stuff. I assume it's just going to be like tutorial, getting started type deal. Which is fine, because just getting to grips with how this all works. And I mean, so far, I'm loving what I'm seeing. It's very different to anything we're playing. A lot of the sandbox type games, we create our own fun or our own story. Whereas this, it looks like it's got a path for us to follow, but then doesn't hold your hand once it's told you the basics which i really really like that it's the reason why i love the forest so much and then go across to there nice okay this might be a bit more tricky okay I, I don't know if we're going the right way but okay i see so i thought i could shimmy my way across the cliff and make my way up it <laughs> turns out we got to use this broken down tree or can we do that yeah there we go find a way to your backpack I wonder what supplies that we brought with us as well. Because right now, again, we don't know what we're doing here. What's happened. Where things have gone really south. I love that. I really do. Bear tracks. Where? And footprints next to it. It doesn't look good. I have to check it out. Bear was stalking someone? Your instinct will show you all the additional information about your condition, points of interest, and even your surroundings. Okay, what's this? What is this? It's like a it's like a, a hunter's sense. Wolves are extremely dangerous and will kill you with ease. Avoid them at all costs. We can come in and out of that. There's the track from the bear. And it said there was uh, another footprint next to it. So let's see. The bear track. And I'm not seeing the human track. I guess we're not able to track that one as we are with the bear. Going in that direction though. There was something else that let up a second. What was it? Oh, there we go. Raw potato. So you can find things in the wild then. Nice. And there's another one up there too. Is this just infinite? Can this last forever? Because we're going to be leaning heavily on this. Let's just follow the tracks. Yeah, he's telling me. It just keeps getting worse. I hope they're okay. Oh. Big old bear chasing someone. Or at least tracking them, and then you stumble across blood. It's never a good sign. Size of those paw prints, too. Oh, there's the... Look at that. There's the human track. Okay, the tracks are leading to a bridge. I thought this was the area where we were pushed off by the bear. I wonder if it's the same bear. The oh, my here. God. They probably reached the other side, but now... The bridge doesn't look very stable. <laughs> no, it doesn't. We'll find a way. I'm just not ready yet. Can I... I think I saw their camp on the way. Maybe I can help myself to what's left. We saw a camp? I don't remember seeing a camp. Maybe we did. This is the exact reason why I'm terrified of these things. And Indiana Jones. <laughs> if you know, you know. What is that? Is that another one that was supposed to be set up over there? Right, so we do need to keep on top of this then, like, quite regularly as well, which makes sense. If we're in a really harsh environment, especially the cold, it's just sapping the heat from us with anything we do. Sprinting, moving around, being away from a heat source. And you can see that, like, being next to this geyser or this hot spring, it's slowly giving it us back, but you have to take your time with it. You have to manage it. That's the camp in front of us, isn't it? All right, let's go and take... Whoa, let's go take a look then. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Uncooked food ration. Nice. Hunger. You can find different types of food which will affect your hunger differently. Cooking food is the best form of processing a meal. But for that, you need a fire camp. Cold food will not fill your stomach much, and sometimes you cannot eat at all. So that's all they left behind. A food ration. <laughs> I mean, if that's what's left of the camp, I don't want to see what did it got to be a massive bear right probably the one we saw at the beginning that's kind of the, the whole deal this is its territory we're in it okay find your way to your backpack 
Yeah, this should be... Yeah, there we go. This is the cliff that we fell off right at the beginning. We heard that stomping coming through the bushes. And we fell clean off that and backwards too. How the hell do you survive that? Let's drop down to this. Oh. We're all right. And... Got it. It's about time to head back. I really need to eat something. So we got to go the same way which we did before. Which was that way, right? Because we took the ice slope, which was this way. Yeah, camp's over there. So we got to go that way around again. And I'm guessing it's time to cook up those rations that we found. Let's go and take a look at this thing. It's so sad. I have to get this parachute off the tree. Oh. Or I could just get rid of the whole tree. How are we going to do that? No wolves in the area. Oh yeah, this person's been dead a long time. Look at that. That's what they could get to. So that's what they're eating. I don't think I have anything that I... Oh, I love the fact that he took the backpack off his back. I saw that in the options. It said, like, backpack animation. I had no idea what it meant, though. Raw potatoes can be found in various areas. It's a bit rare, but edible, both raw and cooked. Plus five hunger, plus two health. And it gives you kind of details on it as well. One fire roasted potato. That's what it cooks into. Uncooked food ration. Warm food ration. And then the canteen, and we can boil that too. Yeah, I love that. Such a small thing. I don't think I can do anything with these. Flashlight on. Of course. I'm out of wood. I have to cut a tree. Okay. Toggle instinct mode. As oh, there we go. Okay, right. So <laughs> that's why I missed it then, because it's camouflaged in with all this rubble. What do we have here? Nice big shiny axe. Axe and chopping wood. Open inventory and assign an axe to the quick slot. Pressing the number assigned to the quick slot will equip an axe. The larger the tree, the longer it takes to cut down. Let's grab our backpack. And we want to put this on slot one. And should we put the... Let's put the canteen on slot two. So our two uh, quick slots. Slot number one has the axe. There we go. Oh, look at the feel of this now. Get to chopping. Keep hacking away at it. We're freezing. We're losing sanity too. There she goes. She's down. So, do we still have to break it up like this though? That's a big old tree. Oh yeah, we're getting real hungry too. It does say cook the food ration. I'm going to get to that in a second, but obviously we need the wood. So we break it down like that. These <laughs> are still big logs. Let's go with this one. Breaking it up. And there we go. Wood chunks. Alright, let's get that firewood in that fire and light things up. I don't know if... Oh yeah, we have the flint and steel, don't we? So, fireplace. And then, right click. Light that fire up. Alright. It will take a while. Maybe I should look around a bit. Find fresh water. Don't we have that? I thought I filled it up with a canteen from the snow. Okay, so we put the actual food ration onto the fire. And you can see that red bar. That's just basically the food cooking. So you do have a timer. You can see the progression of, you know, the food that you cook. If you want to go and do something else, you can see that. Well-kept food ration needs to be cooked. Not the tastiest, but it'll keep you going. Consuming won't affect stats. We're almost there. Nice warm meal. That's going to do us a lot of good. Once we got that, then we need to go and fill the canteen. Never tasted so good. Oh, I bet. Could you imagine that? No. Time to rest. All your actions cost energy. When energy drops to zero, you will faint. If you faint, you will be exposed to weather conditions. As well as lurking wild animals. To restore energy fully, you need to sleep. Think of energy as the amount of time you can spend exploring before going back to sleep. Strategic energy management is key. Wow, okay. 
So straight up, if you see the lower left corner there, our energy bar gets depleted the more we do stuff. And <laughs> if you keep going out in these cold conditions and we can't go back outside, I'm a little bit disappointed at that because I really wanted to refill my canteen. Fuck. The hell was that? Gonna come off its hinges. That was close. If this bastard approached from the other side, I would be dead by now. If he came through this way, yeah, if he got through that window. That thing was huge. I wonder again if that was the same bear. Objective updated. Refill the canteen. Meet your neighbor. Investigate the shelter from the outside. No. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. Just stay here. Yeah, I'm good. Oh. Why has he got blood on its paw? Has that just come from a kill? I was saying before that we're in its territory and it's... The bear. It's bleeding. Investigate the bloodstains. Oh, okay. I like what they've done with this. So fixing the shelter up. So when we found this place, it was broken down and parts of it were exposed to all the elements and all the wildlife. But we can actually fix this up. Activate the instinct mode to find out what's the shelter's status. Interact with fixable objects once you've collected materials that they require. Fixed shelters allow you to sleep safely overnight and maintain a warm temperature. You'll find ways of sleeping in the woods as a last resort. Remember that being exposed to nature can kill you. Okay, so we can find, yeah, this. So we can repair this. And this is our little water source that we've got. It'll also be the main watering hole for anything in this area. Let's just check. We'll grab our axe. Oh, yeah, we're absolutely doing that. Oh, you actually see it fill it up as well. Look at that, how the character's hands are just completely ripped up. Okay, so right now, we actually have frostbite because we're so cold. There's a little stream here as well. I'm going to see if I can just quickly refill my canteen. Yep, we can absolutely do that. So it doesn't have to be like set spots either, like this down here where we filled it up before. Well, it was over there, but similar to that. Bear tracks, there we go. So they're there, and he came across this way. Oh, there's a wagon. That horse is done. This is old. Oh, a broken trap part. I see. A hunting trap. Too small for the bear, but I can use it elsewhere. I wonder if there are more of them. So did the bear stumble across it and that's why it's bleeding? I thought it had just come from one of our friends that we arrived here with he was talking about before. Trap. A trap is the only way to catch a rabbit. Most traps are broken, but you may encounter armed ones. Do not step on them. Collect broken parts to fix traps into a working condition. Or even craft your own. So, there is a crafting element to this. I like that. Craft planks out of 12. Find the second trap part in the area. Now I can fix this. So that was the second one? proper tools inside the shelter. Yep, there we go. I think that's where we have the bench. Look at the door from the bear. The left side of him was all cut up. That was his actual paw mark as well that he stood on the trap with. Scratched up all the front of the steps as well. God, I couldn't even imagine what it was like, or what it would be like, tangling with a bear that size. Or any kind of predator for that matter. Like, I, I've played enough survival games to know you just don't fuck with nature. It's as simple as that. What's this? You can pick up sticks now? Large branch. I don't think I missed anything with that. Yeah, just sticks that are around the area. Maybe craft a, a makeshift spear or something. We got those little placeable spots. Looks like we can repair the side of it. That's what we got to make the planks for. So, 
what we want to do is check this fixed trap part and craft. Okay. I should set up a trap as soon as I can. And then we want to make the planks, craft. Does that just make one though? Okay, it makes two. Each time you craft it, it's two at a time. Yeah, let's just make a bunch of them. We held on to a lot of these uh, these log chunks, so I guess let's just go with like 12, 14 this or something. Fine. Oh, there we go. It told us. Okay. Turn the torch on. And we're going to go around the outside. Fix the shelter wall. Yeah, I love this side to it, how you have to maintain it. It isn't just everything's good to go. It's, it's not an indestructible place. There we go. Okay. It's not great, but it will keep me safe. But still, oh, is it not going to show it? Cover the roof somehow. Oh, I don't think it's ready to go for the demo. I'm sure because there's animations in this. I mean, I hope they do it. We couldn't quite see the actual, like, fixing it. It's not showing it either, but this now would have, like, this is. It would have the, uh, the wood across it. Like, we've, you know, reinforced it. Same for this, too. Get the parachute. So this is how it works from now on with the sleeping. So everything else is decreasing while your energy is going up like it would while you're asleep. So... Let's wake up and see how we're doing. We're hungry, starving, dehydrated. Terminally dehydrated. That's not going to work. Let's get the canteen. So we got some carrot cooking. We got some potato cooking too. It's really simple stuff, but always with survival games, it's repetitiveness. The consistency is what keeps you alive. So we can cook this carrot and potato, get some good food up inside us, especially warm food as well. And then we can go looking for that parachute to repair the roof. Fire toasted wild carrot. That sounds delicious. <laughs> Let's eat that. And again, potato is taking a little bit longer to cook. Minus 15% to energy cap. Oh yeah, that's the real good stuff. So we are still peckish, but we got something on our stomach now. I wonder if leaving them in, I'm going to test that. If leaving them in ruins it. And then we'll add a little bit more fuel to it. Right, let's go and see if we can... Oh, it actually shows you on there as well. It's like a little grill. What is that? A carrot? <laughs> okay. We're going to try and head back to where we found a parachute. Just hoping there's no wolves there. I don't know which way around we went last time. Oh, it's going to tell us. Do we go around this way? Oh, this is the ice slide, isn't it? Any tracks? Let's just triple check that. stuck here where did the parachute go and can we not bury this dude god that's such a bad way to go oh there we go pick this up parachute fix the shelter on the route okay so craft fabric into a parachute i guess we need to head back to the cabin then in order to do that i really wanted to be able to bury this person just gonna leave him there. Or even, I mean, it's not its not like they're gonna need the clothes and the, the hat and stuff, so... In a survival situation, you would have to take that. Something happened to your clothing, something got tore up, or got wet. You've got a, uh, a backup supply. Just checking for any fresh tracks. <laughs> I left the door open, which I don't know if that's gonna have consequences. Pretty stupid, though. You definitely don't want to do that. <laughs> Let's not do that again. Close. Right, we want to fix the roof. So, crafting table. And it says we need to craft fabric from the parachute. So, fabric, craft. And then, can we just do this now? This should keep the warmth inside. It's such a shame that it doesn't... Oh, wait, it does show. Okay, what's next? I thought it didn't show. There's like a weird animation where things just kind of appear. Again, I hope they change that. But at least the uh, the logs are there now, or the, the planks. I hope it's going to be the same for the uh, the parachute. That looks so good. A little makeshift home. Set the trap. All right, we're going to head over that way. There we go. Done. Better leave it alone. Oh. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, what a way.
way to end. Thanks for playing Winter Survival Simulator. So, all in all, I've got to admit, I'm really looking forward to this. And if you guys have enjoyed what you've seen from what we've played today, I mean, again, this is only the demo. We've got to look forward to the full release. Maybe there's going to be some extra changes, things we haven't seen. But even if it's, this is just what we get, I'm really happy with that. It's different to what we're playing, the kind of sandbox thing. So if you guys want to see more of this, drop a like below. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all in the next one.